everyone! Today I'm going to be showing you how to make stickers out of any image. So I'm just going to Google some pictures that I want to use. Uh, let's say I want a picture of a cute corgi. So I'm going to Google cute corgi. I'm going to go to image and pick one that I like. Okay, I think this one is super cute. So I'm going to save image as, we'll I'll call it corgi. And I'm going to look for other pictures that I want. And I'm picking pictures where it's kind of obvious where the corgi is and where the background is. So like this picture, I probably wouldn't want to use just because this fur rug or whatever kind of blends with the fur of the dog. Okay, next I looked for cute Sheba. Um, I think this one's pretty cute <laughs> with his tongue out. So I'm going to save this one, call it a Sheba. Okay, next I looked up Disney Cuties Eeyore because I love Eeyore. This one's pretty cute, so I'm going to save this one. Eeyore. And we'll look up Tigger. Um, so I'll take this one. Sometimes these aren't actually PNG. And if you want to look for um, a picture that's already transparent, you can go into Tools, go under Color, and go to Transparent. So like this one, when I click on it, you'll see that the background changes to transparent background. But I'm just going to go back and use this one because the lines look cleaner on this one. Or actually, maybe this one. Now that I've got all my pictures downloaded on the bottom, I'm going to go over to a website called remove.bg and upload all of my pictures. So it's going to remove the background in all of them. So this is the original picture, and once it removes it, it takes out all of the background. So I'm left with just the face. I'm going to hit download, and then you can just keep dragging and dropping it, or you can click on um, upload image and it'll upload it for you. So if there is something that you don't want that the website um, kept, you can go over to edit and you can erase and restore. So erasing will erase whatever they kept for you. So like, let's pretend we don't want that here for whatever reason. Um, and then restoring will bring back the background. So if I click and drag in the background, I'll bring back the background. Okay, so this is fine and I'm going to download it. And you're just going to repeat this for all of the images that you want to make into stickers. So like for this one, it didn't really clean it um, properly, so I'm going to erase as best as I can and then we can erase more later in um, Photopea. So I'm just going to download it like this and then fix it later. Now that I've got all of my images, I'm going to go over to Photopea and you can drag and drop again, but remember to use the one with the removed background. So if you want, you could just make this into a sticker and you can kind of skip this step of going to Photopea. But I like having a white layer, so I'm going to go over to Layer Style, Stroke. And you'll faintly see the background. Um, I'll change it to 10. I'm going to change it to white. And if you want, you can make it thicker. I'm going to choose the crop setting and actually make it a little bigger just so that that part of the ear doesn't get cut off. And then once I'm happy with it, I'm going to export as PNG. So now I'm going to do this for all of my images. So next we have the Sheba. And since this leg is kind of close to the edge, I'm going to go into crop and just kind of extend the canvas a little bit, just so it has room for the white outline that I'm going to add. I'm going to go into layer, layer style, stroke, and I'll save the same settings that I already had. So it's at 10 and it's on white. Okay, so in this one, it still has some of that blue background that I want to get rid of. So right here is object selection, but I want to use the magic wand. So I'm going to right click on it and the magic wand will appear. And I'm going to zoom in just so I can kind of see where I'm working. I'm going to click on it, it'll select everything in that same color, and then hit delete on my keyboard. I'm going to do that all around the image. Now I'm going to use the hand option and just kind of drag it around as I need to. 
And you can also just go in with the eraser tool and erase all of this excess that I don't want. Okay, now I'm gonna zoom back out and add in the outline again. So when I add in the outline, you can see there's some excess white. I'm going to zoom back in and clean it up. I'm going to use the eraser tool and you can change the size here. And then when you erase it, it'll clean up the stroke area as well. Okay, so once I'm happy with it, I'm going to export as PNG. So now over on Cricut, I'm going to open up a new project. I'm going to upload all of my images. I'm going to choose complex and save as a print and cut. And I'm going to do that for all of my images. You can hold shift and select all the pictures that you want to insert. And now I'm just going to adjust the size of them. So I'm going to make them all two inches tall. So I'm going up to the height setting on the top and changing it to two. So next you'll want to lay them out on the mat. And something that I like doing is adding a rectangle in the background. So I'm going to add a square, unlock it, and make it 6.75 inches wide and 9.25 inches tall. And I want to send it to the back so that's behind the images. That way I can see the white outline and make sure that nothing is overlapping. So I have room to fit one more of him here. Another one here. And if you want, you can also align them. If you select both of the Shiva, so what I do is I select one and press shift and select the other one, you can align here. So you would probably want to align top so that they're aligned at the top here. And I can move him up a little bit. And then for Tigger here, I'm going to press shift, select all of them, align top again. And I'm also going to distribute horizontally because as you can see right here, the space right here is really little, but here is a lot bigger. So it's going to make the spaces the same. And I did kind of leave some empty space. You can fill this in if you want, like you could make a smaller one of these and put him in right there. <laughs> um, but anyway, so before you print, make sure you delete the gray rectangle here. If you are going to make die cuts and if you're making sticker sheet, make sure you resize it unless you want it to be the size. So I'll leave the two options for you. If you want to make die cuts, click on the video on the left. And if you want to make sticker sheets, click on the video on the right. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of the day and let me know if there's anything else you would like me to show you how to do. Bye!